Calgary, welcome to the Weekly Dump. Happy Hump Day, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Weekly Dump. My name is Kevin, one of your KCCO Calgary admins, and I'd like to welcome you to another wacky edition of our weekly show. And do you remember Henry Flores from the Flash campaign that we did last year in 2020? Well, we have an update for him, and man, you're not going to want to miss this. So, uh, Thanks for joining us. Uh, those that are new, put new uh, down in the comments so I can give you a shout out. And like to say hi to all the veterans out there as well. Uh, see, Ken has joined us. So, uh, Ken says... Bring on the shenanigans, sipper, chivettes, and parties with a purpose. Woohoo! Hi, Kevin and everyone. Thanks a lot, Ken. Thanks for popping in. And also see that Lawrence has popped in as well. So, hey, Lawrence, how you guys doing? Uh, thanks for joining and a big cheers to you all. And excited to share with you a bit of an update of Henry and the Flash campaign that we had last year. So hang on. You're not definitely not going to want to miss that. So here we are on show number 126. Can you believe we've done 126 of these? It's uh, kind of crazy how fl time has flown since the first time I put on the camera and started talking into a camera with absolutely nobody watching, which was kind of intimidating at the time, but I'm kind of used to it now. And I do appreciate you guys joining in and providing some feedback. So. Thank you for finding and uh, joining me on a weekly basis. Do appreciate it. All right, let's get started. On Monday, it was International Women's Day. And where are we here? There we go. And the theme this year was Choose the Challenge. So hopefully you're out there and saying hello to all the wonderful women out there who are making a difference in this world and especially to all the chai vets who are out there making the world 10 percent happier um, i know our group of chai vets that we have here in our community are amazing um, they range from various professions to doing a ton of work for us in the community so i want to say thank you and cheers and chive on to everybody So next up, yeah, you remember back when uh, Henry Flores, this cute little face, how could you, how could you say no to him? He was so cute. Um, back, uh, we did a flash campaign and we had a goal of ten thousand dollars and of course in typical chive fashion we just smashed that like within an hour uh they had the ten thousand and we ended up raising like sixty two thousand dollars for him so we have got such a great community love uh love to see how active people are in supporting people that are not within their family but just giving to those that uh, definitely do need the assistance so do appreciate anyone who did give and help with that flash campaign. Um, but this week we actually had a an update on Henry and where that money was spent. So, but first let's uh, remember the challenges that he had faced. So let's just hop on over to to my other laptop here. So yeah, how could you say no to that face? Just such a, such a cute little guy. And yeah, ran into all sorts of challenges. I remember he had to use, use his truck to be able to get up onto the toilet, which was very, very challenging. And to watch uh, a kid do that, it was very, very tough to, tough to see. So we ran the, the flash campaign 
and would love to play this little video to of all the updates that have happened so and here he is um, they've fixed the door so that uh, he's able to actually go into the bathroom himself now which is freaking amazing and he's such an independent little guy and if you look he uh, even has light switches down at the proper level and look they actually made a toilet for him right on the ground I think that is amazing and then he also has his own little sink there and somewhere where he can wipe his hands as well so I think that is amazing what they did and then there's his shower he has a sh there's the adult shower over on that side and then on this side is something tiny for him so he's able to go and wash himself so it's just amazing what they were able to do with uh, with the money that was raised and there he is waving hello so once again thank you to everyone who did contribute to that campaign because you definitely made his world a heck of a lot better more than 10 percent I think um, Henry has always needed assistance to go to the bathroom because he's only two feet tall and an adult sized toilet and sink must seem like Mount Everest to him. So um, as you noticed, he was very creative and used his, his truck to be able to move around and use the, the facilities. So once that uh, money came in, they made the changes and I think that just shows you what kind of impact that we can have on the world, which I think is pretty awesome and pretty life altering. All right, let's take a look at what happened last week and what's coming up. So Make sure you're uh, heading on over to the Chive and check in the Chive Nation tab. And if you're on Facebook, uh, make sure to check out uh, the Chive Nation Facebook page where they have a list of all the events that are coming up. So from February uh, 20th to March 20th, they're having books giving. Um, so make sure you check out Chive Education. Uh, there's several ways that you can participate through book donations, monetary donations, and little tree or little free library donations as well. So if this is something that interests you, definitely check out their page and reach out to them. Next up is the Chive VA March Madness Bracket Challenge. So yes, uh, basketball playoffs are coming up. So uh, the brackets are coming out. Um, so the dates of the event are listed from the time that the selections occur to tip off with the first round choosing the four teams that will compete. So if you want, uh, I can go and check out the uh, this whole bracket and sort of what's, what the cost is and what you can do to participate. Once again, that was the Chive VA March Madness Bracket Challenge. And yeah, guess what's coming up next week? It is St. Patrick's Day. So, the St. Patrick's Day Trivia Night and Happy Hour held together by Chive Nation and Chive Virginia once again. Um, for, it's time for another trivia night. Um, as it felt appropriate, the Chi Virginia team felt the urge to make this month's trivia St. Paddy's Day themed. On St. Paddy's Day, nonetheless. Uh, $5 gets you in. The winner decides which charity the proceeds go to and will win a prize for themselves. Um, and they can do the payments via Venmo. And yeah, if you're interested, uh, there's more information on their Facebook page. And... Just also have to give a shout out to our KCCO Calgary chapter. We 
are having another virtual game night going on. So make sure that you send us an RSVP to see whether you're coming so that we can make up the appropriate teams. And last week, um, let's see, uh, get the right mouse here. Here we go. Let's just hop on over to here. Uh, last couple of weeks, I've given this code out and we've actually had one person submit an answer and it actually is correct. So take a look at this. You have the whole internet to help decipher what these codes are and hopefully you are able to figure it out and follow the directions that this turns out. Once again, it's a very, it's a secret code that you can, you can use all the tools. The entire internet is at your disposal. So make sure you are able to crack the secret code and let's see if you can follow the directions that it does produce. Next up, birthdays. Last week, we gave a shout out to Dustin, who just had a birthday this past week. So happy belated birthday once again. And this week, happy early birthday to Velenese, who is having a birthday on the 16th. Um, and he's been a regular joining in on the weekly stream here. So hope if you're out there, Velenese, happy early birthday to you. Um, thank you for support and hope that your day is amazing. And if you haven't submitted your birth date, check out the post in, the, in our feed and enter it there. Or just leave a comment and we'll add you onto our calendar. All right. Turn that one off, that's on. All right, and it's now time to get your brain going. Um, the last little while we've sort of had some this or that type of challenges, but this week we are actually going to do a, a what's it challenge. So what the what's it challenge is, is it's a game from, oh, I think it was the nineties or the early two thousands or something like that, that, uh, ended up buying and just to get your mind going and thinking sort of outside of the box. So I will uh, be putting a couple of cards up and I'll do an example of this. And what I'm going to do is I'll leave it on there and then come back next week for the answers. And if you know what the answer is, type it into the comments and let's see whether you are able to figure it out. So, for instance, the first one. What, what's it? So it's not the title. It's everything that's sort of within the white box. So moon and the. For for instance, what? Uh, how could you describe that? So think of where the location of the first word is. And the first word is moon. So the answer would be over the moon. So the next ones I'm not going to give you a hint on. Um, I'm just going to put it up. And that says end and it's going to the right and downwards and the next one and that is the word good with a couple of looks like a couple of eyes in the middle Let me know what you think it is. Then the last one. Kidney, lung, heart, and home. 
So let me know what you think that uh, that this one is. So if you have any guesses, uh, write them down in the comments and I will be scouring them or you can email your answers in and I will take a look and see whether you are correct. And next week I will announce what the answers for each of those are and we'll have three more to share with you. So that's sort of all I have for this week. Hopefully uh, things are going well with you. You're staying safe. And with the weather warming up, hopefully we're able to get out and enjoy that weather. And depending on what your community is like, hopefully we'll be able to see each other face-to-face uh, -face relatively soon. And maybe meet out in a park and accidentally bump into each other sort of thing. But uh, hopefully you are keeping safe. And I will say cheers right now. And we will see you. Sorry, mouth just a little bit dry. Needed needed something in there. Um, but yeah, have lots to do to get ready for uh, a few other things. So I've got to take off and keep going. But I do appreciate you taking the time out today to spend some time with me. And we will see you again next week. So cheers and chive on. Cheers.